a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Soviet Union The Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, commonly known as the Soviet Union, was a socialist federation in Eurasia that existed from 1922 to 1991. Nominally a union of multiple national Soviet republics, its government and economy were highly centralized. The country was a one-party state, governed by the Communist Party with Moscow as its capital in its largest republic, the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic. Russians dominated the USSR. Other major urban centers were Leningrad, Kiev, Minsk, Almaty, and Novosibirsk. Extending across the entirety of Northern Asia and much of Eastern Europe, the Soviet Union had spanned 11 time zones and incorporated a wide range of environments and landforms. From northwest to southeast, the Soviet Union shared land borders with Norway, Finland, Poland, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Romania, Turkey, Iran, Afghanistan, China, Mongolia, and North Korea. It shared its maritime borders with Japan by the Sea of Okhotsk and the U.S. state of Alaska across the Bering Strait, with an area of 22,402,200 square kilometers. The Soviet Union was the largest country in the world by area, covering more than one-eighth of the Earth's inhabited land area, and the third most populous, with over 288 million people as of 1989 with 80% of the population living in the Western, European part of the country. The Soviet Union had its roots in the October Revolution of 1917, when the Bolsheviks led by Vladimir Lenin overthrew the Russian provisional government which had replaced Tsar Nicholas II during World War I. In 1922, the Soviet Union was formed by the Treaty on the Creation of the USSR which legalized the unification of the Russian. Transcaucasian, Ukrainian and Belarusian republics that had occurred from 1918. Following Lenin's death in 1924 and a brief power struggle, Joseph Stalin came to power in the mid-1920s. Stalin committed the state's ideology to Marxism-Leninism and constructed a command economy which led to a period of rapid industrialization and collectivization. During this period of totalitarian rule, political paranoia fermented and the late 1930s Great Purge removed Stalin's opponents within and outside of the party via arbitrary arrests and persecutions of many people, resulting in over 600,000 deaths, suppression of political critics, and forced labor work carried out by Stalin's government. In 1933, a major famine that became known as the Holodomor in Soviet Ukraine struck multiple Soviet grain-growing regions, causing the deaths of some 3 to 7 million people. In August 1939, days before the start of World War II, the USSR signed the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact agreeing to non-aggression with Nazi Germany, after which the two countries invaded Poland in September 1939. In June 1941, the pact collapsed as Germany turned to attack the Soviet Union, opening the largest and bloodiest theater of war in history. Soviet war casualties accounted for the highest proportion of the conflict in the effort of acquiring the upper hand over Axis forces at intense battles such as Stalingrad and Kursk. The territories overtaken by the Red Army became satellite states of the Soviet Union and the post-war division of Europe into capitalist and communist halves would lead to increased tensions with the West, led by the United States of America. The Cold War emerged by 1947 as the Eastern Bloc united under the Warsaw Pact in 1955, confronted the Western Bloc, united under NATO in 1949. On 5 March 1953, Stalin died, and was eventually succeeded by Nikita Khrushchev, who in 1956 denounced Stalin and began the de-Stalinization of Soviet society through the Khrushchev thaw. The Soviet Union took an early lead in the space race with the first artificial satellite and the first human spaceflight. Dissatisfied with Khrushchev's policies, the Communist Party's conservative wing led a coup d'etat against Khrushchev in 1964, quietly ousting him without any bloodshed. In the early 1970s, there was a brief detente of relations with the United States, but tensions resumed with the Soviet-Afghan War in 1979. In the mid-1980s, the last Soviet leader, Mikhail Gorbachev, 
sought to reform and liberalize the economy through his policies of glasnost and perestroika. Under Gorbachev, the role of the Communist Party in governing the state was removed from the constitution, causing a surge of severe political instability to set in. The Cold War ended during his tenure in 1989 as Soviet satellite states in Eastern Europe overthrew their respective communist governments. With the rise of strong nationalist and separatist movements inside the Union republics, Gorbachev tried to avert a dissolution of the Soviet Union in the post-Cold War era. A March 1991 referendum, boycotted by some republics, resulted in a majority of participating citizens voting in favor of preserving the Union as a renewed federation. Gorbachev's power was greatly diminished after Russian President Boris Yeltsin played a high-profile role in facing down an abortive August 1991 coup d'état attempted by Communist Party hardliners. On 25 December 1991, Gorbachev resigned and the remaining 12 constituent republics emerged as independent post-Soviet states. The Russian Federation, formerly the Russian SFSR, assumed the Soviet Union's rights and obligations, and is recognized as the successor state of the Soviet Union. In summing up the international ramifications of these events, Vladislav Zubok stated, the collapse of the Soviet Empire was an event of epochal geopolitical, military, ideological and economic significance. Throughout its existence, the Soviet Union was a powerhouse of the most significant technological achievements and innovations of the 20th century, including the world's first human-made satellite and the launching of the first humans in space. The country had the world's second largest economy and the largest standing military in the world. The Soviet Union was recognized as one of the five nuclear weapon states and possessed the largest stockpile of weapons of mass destruction. It was a founding permanent member of the United Nations Security Council as well as a member of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, the World Federation of Trade Unions, and the leading member of the Council for Mutual Economic Assistance and the Warsaw Pact. Name the word, Soviet, is derived from a Russian word meaning council, assembly, advice, harmony, concord and all ultimately deriving from the Proto-Slavic verbal stem of VETITI, related to Slavic VEST, English, wise, the root in, advis or, or the Dutch Vartan. The word Sovietnik means, councillor. A number of organizations in Russian history were called, council. For example, in the Russian Empire the State Council, which functioned from 1810 to 1917, was referred to as a Council of Ministers after the Revolt of 1905. During the Georgian Affair, Vladimir Lenin envisioned an expression of great Russian ethnic chauvinism by Joseph Stalin and his supporters, calling for these nation-states to join Russia as semi-independent parts of a greater union, which he initially named as the Union of Soviet Republics of Europe and Asia. Stalin initially resisted the proposal, but ultimately accepted it, although with Lenin's agreement changed the name of the newly proposed state to the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, albeit all the republics began as Socialist Soviet, and did not change to the other order until 1936. In addition, in the national languages of several republics the word council slash conciliar in the respective language was only quite late changed to an adaptation of the Russian Soviet, and never in others, and more Ukraine in some cases. Due to the length of its name the state was referred to as the Soviet Union or the USSR, especially when used in the Western media. It was also informally called Russia, though that was technically incorrect since Russia was only one of the republics. Geography, Climate and Environment With an area of 22,402,200 square kilometers, the Soviet Union was the world's largest country, a status that is retained by the Russian Federation, covering a sixth of Earth's land surface. Its size was comparable to that of North America. The European portion accounted for a quarter of the country's area, and was the cultural and economic center. The eastern part in Asia extended to the Pacific Ocean to the east and Afghanistan to the south, and, except some areas in Central Asia, was much less populous. It spanned over east to west across 11 time zones, and over north to south. It had five climate zones, tundra, taiga, steppes, desert and mountains. 
The Soviet Union had the world's longest border, like Russia, measuring over, or circumferences of Earth, two-thirds of it was a coastline. Across the Bering Strait was the United States. The Soviet Union bordered Afghanistan, China, Czechoslovakia, Finland, Hungary, Iran, Mongolia, North Korea, Norway, Poland, Romania, and Turkey from 1945 to 1991. The Soviet Union's highest mountain was Communism Peak in Tajikistan, at. The Soviet Union also included most of the world's largest lakes, the Caspian Sea, and Lake Baikal. The world's largest and deepest freshwater lake that is also an internal body of water in Russia. History The last Russian Tsar, Nicholas II, ruled the Russian Empire until his abdication in March 1917 in the aftermath of the February Revolution, due in part to the strain of fighting in World War I, which lacked public support. A short-lived Russian provisional government took power to be overthrown in the October Revolution by revolutionaries led by the Bolshevik leader Vladimir Lenin. The Soviet Union was officially established in December 1922 with the Union of the Russian, Ukrainian, Bielorussian, and Transcaucasian Soviet Republics, each ruled by local Bolshevik parties. Despite the foundation of the Soviet state as a federative entity of many constituent republics, each with its own political and administrative entities, the term, Soviet Russia, strictly applicable only to the Russian Federative Socialist Republic was often applied to the entire country by non-Soviet writers and politicians. Revolution and Foundation Modern revolutionary activity in the Russian Empire began with the Decembrist Revolt of 1825. Although serfdom was abolished in 1861, it was done on terms unfavorable to the peasants and served to encourage revolutionaries. A parliament, the State Duma, was established in 1906 after the Russian Revolution of 1905, but Tsar Nicholas II resisted attempts to move from absolute to constitutional monarchy. Social unrest continued and was aggravated during World War I by military defeat and food shortages in major cities. A spontaneous popular uprising in Petrograd, in response to the wartime decay of Russia's economy and morale, culminated in the February Revolution and the toppling of the imperial government in March 1917. The Tsarist autocracy was replaced by the Russian Provisional Government, which intended to conduct elections to the Russian Constituent Assembly and to continue fighting on the side of the Entente in World War I. At the same time, Workers' councils, known in Russian as Soviets, sprang up across the country. The Bolsheviks, led by Vladimir Lenin, pushed for socialist revolution in the Soviets and on the streets. On 7 November 1917, the Red Guards stormed the Winter Palace in Petrograd, ending the rule of the Provisional Government and leaving all political power to the Soviets. This event would later be officially known in Soviet bibliographies as the Great October Socialist Revolution. In December, the Bolsheviks signed an armistice with the Central Powers, though by February 1918, fighting had resumed. In March, the Soviets ended involvement in the war for good and signed the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk. A long and bloody civil war ensued between the Reds and the Whites, starting in 1917 and ending in 1923 with the Reds' victory. It included foreign intervention, the execution of the former Tsar and his family and the famine of 1921, which killed about 5 million people. In March 1921, during a related conflict with Poland, the Peace of Riga was signed, splitting disputed territories in Belarus and Ukraine between the Republic of Poland and Soviet Russia. Soviet Russia had to resolve similar conflicts with the newly established Republic of Finland, the Republic of Estonia, the Republic of Latvia, and the Republic of Lithuania. Unification of Republics On 28 December 1922, a conference of plenipotentiary delegations from the Russian SFSR, the Transcaucasian SFSR, the Ukrainian SSR and the Bielorussian SSR approved the treaty on the creation of the USSR and the declaration of the creation of the USSR, forming the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. These two documents were confirmed by the first Congress of Soviets of the USSR and signed by the heads of the delegations. Mikhail Kalinin, 
Mikhail Tskarkaya, Mikhail Frunza, Grigory Petrovsky, and Alexander Chervyakov, on 30 December 1922. The formal proclamation was made from the stage of the Bolshoi Theater, on 1 February 1924. The USSR was recognized by the United Kingdom. The same year, a Soviet constitution was approved, legitimizing the December 1922 Union, an intensive restructuring of the economy, industry, and politics of the country began in the early days of Soviet power in 1917. A large part of this was done according to the Bolshevik initial decrees, government documents signed by Vladimir Lenin. One of the most prominent breakthroughs was the Goelro Plan, which envisioned a major restructuring of the Soviet economy based on total electrification of the country. The plan was developed in 1920 and covered a 10- to 15-year period. It included construction of a network of 30 regional power stations, including 10 large hydroelectric power plants and numerous electric-powered large industrial enterprises. The plan became the prototype for subsequent five-year plans and was fulfilled by 1931. Stalin era From its creation, the government in the Soviet Union was based on the one-party rule of the Communist Party. After the economic policy of war communism during the Russian Civil War, as a prelude to fully developing socialism in the country, the Soviet government permitted some private enterprise to coexist alongside nationalized industry in the 1920s, and total food requisition in the countryside was replaced by a food tax. The stated purpose of the one-party state was to ensure that capitalist exploitation would not return to the Soviet Union, and that the principles of democratic centralism would be most effective in representing the people's will in a practical manner. Debate over the future of the economy provided the background for a power struggle in the years after Lenin's death in 1924. Initially, Lenin was to be replaced by a troika, consisting of Grigory Sinovev of the Ukrainian SSR, Lev Komenev of the Russian SFSR, and Joseph Stalin of the Transcaucasian SFSR. On 3 April 1922, Stalin was named the General Secretary of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. Lenin had appointed Stalin the head of the Workers' and Peasants' Inspectorate, which gave Stalin considerable power. By gradually consolidating his influence and isolating and outmaneuvering his rivals within the party, Stalin became the undisputed leader of the Soviet Union and, by the end of the 1920s, established totalitarian rule. In October 1927, Grigory Sinovev and Leon Trotsky were expelled from the Central Committee and forced into exile. In 1928, Stalin introduced the first five-year plan for building a socialist economy. In place of the internationalism expressed by Lenin throughout the revolution, it aimed to build socialism in one country. In industry, the state assumed control over all existing enterprises and undertook an intensive program of industrialization. In agriculture, rather than adhering to the lead by example, policy advocated by Lenin, forced collectivization of farms was implemented all over the country. Famines ensued, causing millions of deaths. Surviving kulaks were persecuted and many sent to gulags to do forced labor. Social upheaval continued in the mid-1930s. Stalin's Great Purge resulted in the execution or detainment of many old Bolsheviks who had participated in the October Revolution with Lenin. According to declassified Soviet archives, the NKVD arrested more than one and a half million people in 1937 and 1938, of whom 681,692 were shot. Over those two years there were an average of over 1,000 executions a day. According to historian Jeffrey Hosking, Dot excess deaths during the 1930s as a whole were in the range of 10-11 million, although historian Timothy D. Snyder claims that archival evidence suggests a maximum excess mortality of 9 million during the entire Stalin era. Historian and archival researcher Stephen G. Wheatcroft asserts that around a million purposive killings can be attributed to Stalinist regime, along with the premature deaths of roughly 2 million more amongst the repressed populations through criminal negligence. Despite the turmoil of the mid to late 1930s, the Soviet Union developed a powerful industrial economy in the years before World War II. 
under the doctrine of state atheism in the Soviet Union. There was a government-sponsored program of forced conversion to atheism, conducted by communists. The communist regime targeted religions based on state interests, and while most organized religions were never outlawed, religious property was confiscated, believers were harassed, and religion was ridiculed while atheism was propagated in schools. In 1925 the government founded the League of Militant Atheists to intensify the propaganda campaign. Accordingly, although personal expressions of religious faith were not explicitly banned, a strong sense of social stigma was imposed on them by the official structures and mass media and it was generally considered unacceptable for members of certain professions to be openly religious. As for the Russian Orthodox Church, Soviet authorities sought to control it and, in times of national crisis, to exploit it for the regime's own purposes. But their ultimate goal was to eliminate it. During the first five years of Soviet power, the Bolsheviks executed 28 Russian Orthodox bishops and over 1,200 Russian Orthodox priests. Many others were imprisoned or exiled. Believers were harassed and persecuted. Most seminaries were closed, and the publication of most religious material was prohibited. By 1941 only 500 churches remained open out of about 54,000 in existence prior to World War I. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?